What kind of content is there on TikTok really? Because I feel like you could come up with the most random concepts and somehow you'll find out that there's already a TikTok about it. Here, let's put it to the test. Um, okay, got it. You ready? Picture this. Hardworking single mom. Got it? What else? Uh, okay. Random fact about myself. I'm an ass guy. I like women with a big dump truck. I'm also an emotional guy. I'm a softie. I love a good cry sometimes. Put all that together and let's see what we get. Boom. Hardworking single mom and a sad butt. Sorry. Sad lion butt. <laughs> We've seen the cow and e people, the divorcees and police officers of TikTok. However, I'm so confused on what TikTok really is. So then I did a little reverse engineering. Isn't TikTok the sound a clock makes? And doesn't the clock tell time? Time, like Einstein said, is relative. It is defined as a measured or measurable period, a continuum that lacks spatial dimensions. Physicists define time as the progression of events from the past to the present into the future. Time can also be described as the fourth dimension of reality, used to describe events happening in the third dimensional space, meaning we just invented time in our heads to keep track of the things we do day by day. You see where I'm going with this? Nowhere. Which is exactly how I feel about people's content on this app. It's going nowhere. Why are they singing, but not really? Why are they acting, but not really? Is everyone going goth now? Why does everyone look the same? Why is this tongue out? Why are all the guys' jawlines built like the Tesla Cybertruck? So many questions, no real answers. But then I realized that TikTok is really just an app where people flex how much better they look for a few seconds. <laughs> so if you look at this graph I made, the smaller piece of the pie is the mediocre to funny and great TikToks. Let's call it normal videos. The bigger piece of the pie is what I think majority of TikTok's content is. It's hot people flexing on their made up haters or exes. Or just hot people pretending to be humble. It's like if Taylor Swift was an app. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting from the people here. Because it almost feels like everyone's trying to send a message. Like, oh fuck, Margaret just left me yesterday. Boom, instant hotness, waist, thick, catwalk. Like, why are you walking? Is there a hidden treadmill underneath there? I got that video from the I used to be beautiful challenge, which is only one of the few trends that we're gonna look at. Disclaimer first, I'm gonna be using copyrighted music since that's the nature of TikTok. My channel's not really popping yet, so I can handle getting fucked by claims. I gotta impress my 100% female audience, after all. Ladies, I know you like guys to take risks, so feel free to leave me a kiss in the comments. I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. <laughs> Where do I start? There's just <laughs> so many things to hate about this video. I'm a big anime fan too, you know? But here's the thing. Can we just keep some things in the anime? You know, let's not bring it out here in the real world. You know, just an opinion. Can we can we stop like ruining good things, please? Thank you. <laughs> See that mood change I did right there? He went from yes sir, I'll have her home before 9 p.m. to let me eat that ass. <laughs> I got the whole outfit right here, baby. I got my roller ready. Better to roll some buns. You know, I got the mask, big teeth, ready to bite in the booty cheeks. <laughs> I got the entire outfit, baby. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> Bring that ass over here. <laughs> Sorry I doubted you and made fun of you, man. You were way ahead of me. Jesus, a fellow ass man. Respect. <laughs> I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. Who's 
whose dad is this? Whose dad is this? Somebody get your dad. He's playing on his phone again. He's playing with TikTok again. Mom, mom, dad's on his phone again doing TikToks. <laughs> Yo, what them chicks saying, huh? This ain't enough for you. This little dance move not ready for you. Mm, mm, I got him. <laughs> Two eyes this time. Mm, mm. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> oh, wow, waterfall! <laughs> we need a new category right now. You know, you've heard of the MILF. It's time that the world hears about the daddy. You know, daddy. Because this is Daddy F. <laughs> I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. What is up with those facial expressions, man? Oh, ladies, look at this. Look at this, huh? I can move my head while not moving my body. Ooh. Huh? Steve again. Ooh. <laughs> Got him again. Ladies, come on. Isn't that talent? Wait, wait. One sec. Look at his face. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that a funny face? <laughs> I can be silly and be hot too, you know? Ooh. Oh, silly. Oh, silly again. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. These. TikTok challenges reminds me of the Don't Judge Me challenge from way back that people used to do. You know, unibrow, freckles, all that shit. I guess these new challenges are just different versions of the same one. The Don't Judge Me challenge is the queen alien, and these new TikTok challenges are just her, her eggs. They're spreading their seed into this world. I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. Look at this caption. I switch my personality with situations. <laughs> Hashtag Mandulization. <laughs> because his name is Mandul. <laughs> what do you feel after this? What do you feel? Do you look at yourself in the mirror and feel any shame or regret? Like, oh, fuck. What am I, what doing? Am I doing? I bet you a thousand bucks this guy doesn't watch any porn. He just looks at himself in the mirror for, for five hours and just, you know, stare at himself intently, you know, not breaking any eye contact, just, oh, oh God, I'm gonna manjul, I'm gonna manjul, man, I'm mandulating, I'm oh, mandulating, oh, oh, no, where am I? Welcome to Manjula. Manjula? What happens here? You have reached the state of Manjuna. What's Manjuna? It's like Nirvana, but for mandulars. Is for people who are going through the process of mandulization. So, am I am I dead? No, of course not. <laughs> no, you have simply come to the realization that you are nothing compared to the mandulars. You will never be anything. You will never reach your wildest dreams. You will never get to make movies you want to make. You will never be the director. Oh my you god! You will never get to meet your fans, hug your fans, and thank them for all the support for all these years of hard work. You'll never get to do that. Oh my You'll god! You'll never get to kiss any girl. You'll never get to have sex. No You'll way. never get married, have kids. You'll never get to be anything that you want to be. No way! You, know, you are nothing but a speck of Dust! You are nothing! Useless! You will never be anything! Compared to us! The higher beings! Stop hoping! Stop dreaming! Stop trying! Oh my god! Stop it! Oh my, get the fuck out of here! King Manjul is not here anyway. And even if he was, he wouldn't want you in here. You're ashamed. Be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> fuck you. What, what are you? YouTuber. Oh, what? It only takes me a wink and a flex, buddy. Oh, boom, somebody's pregnant. You see what I did there? I just winked. Somebody's pregnant right now. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of my jewel. You're not welcome here. Get out. Okay, so the next trend is more for the people who are into the wilderness, the animal kingdom, the great outdoors, like PETA. So if you tick all those boxes, you're gonna love this. Got two hands. We just found out I got two hands. Come on, come on, go. Okay, so I'm trying to wrap my head around this. The point of this challenge, you know, you're you're acting like you don't know what's gonna happen, and then your friend taps you, and then you go like, Oh, roar. Oh, fierce, rar, rar XD. <laughs> okay, that's it, right? That's the point. Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing?
How many likes did he get? 7,337 for leaning on the wall and just, you know, looking down, leaning on the wall. In 10 seconds and then he just does that at the end. That's all it takes to be the greatest content creator, man. Just a bunch of TikToks leaning on the wall, you know, rrr, rrr, wasting time. That's all it takes. Okay, so this next challenge is, I'll say, let's just read this description so we can get, you know, a better overview in what it is. Okay, it's hashtag try me. It's a try me challenge. Show us an extreme makeover for all those people who doubted you. Okay. So it's, it's like, you know, transformation. Like I was ugly before, you left me before, you broke up with me, and now look at this, I'm so hot. This is what you left, bitch. That, I'm guessing that's what it is, because based on their caption, that's what the challenge is about, right? Okay, fine, that's fair. <sighs> Try me. Okay, I just laughed internally at that. A grown ass man lip syncing a baby voice. <laughs> How is that not funny? You know, okay, props. That's funny. <laughs> so that's the challenge, right? Just guys just. What? Huh? Boom. So fucking hot wearing black. <laughs> that's the challenge. <laughs> okay. Why a necklace though? That's what I'm wondering. Is this some sort of. Is this from a TV series? Like. They just incorporated it here. Boom, like, what is it? Is it supposed to be Stranger Things? I don't get it. <sighs> Try me. I can't. Could have at least timed it better, you know? Shoot it again, man. <laughs> okay. This guy, uh, he, had, he had a roar challenge. I didn't show you, but this guy is the most. I don't want to be mean, I don't want to sound mean, but this guy is the most annoying content ever, I've ever seen. You know, let's look at this one. There's this TikTok of him where he pretends to get shot. You know, he's like, oh my god, babe, I'll protect you. Boom, oh. And he proceeds to fall on his girlfriend gracefully and make her carry his full-size adult male body. That's one way to save her life. Okay, so this is the last trend that we're gonna look at. And I think it's only fitting that we end this the way we started it. See, TikTok is so popular that even Mr. Bean is getting in on it. <laughs> Okay, so that's two celebrities in a row. We got Mr. Bean before, now we got Johnny Bravo in the house. <laughs> yeah. This is the face she was doing right before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> used to be so beautiful, now look at me. He no te voy a negar. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Right. I missed that. So, the plot twist is he's already hot. Gotcha. Party time. Gotcha. Got it. <laughs> Party. Party time. Gotcha. Alright, so I, I know I focus mostly on the bad content, which is because that's true. 99% of the content on TikTok is bad. But then going back to the graph I showed you earlier, the small minority, no matter how small they are, those are really great compared to these. Like for example, there's this one with Pikachu um, doing the I used to be beautiful challenge. And that was funny. And now he was all cute and then turned muscular and started dancing. That's funny. You also got this sweet old lady doing the I used to be beautiful challenge, but she didn't need to, she's already beautiful. And then we got 
fucking Jesus, you know, getting in on the challenge, blessing us with his presence, you know, Jesus fucking saving us from ourselves. And there's also the one by Mirhan Donovan. I ruined the family dinner because of this. It's a, it's a family, you know, dancing one by one in sync. You know how hard that is? Getting everyone to participate in a TikTok, especially your family. That's, that's an accomplishment. You know, Mirhan Donovan, you're a fucking genius. You know, I respect that. Respect. You know, he got 2.3 million views. Fuck. Well deserved. You know, fuck it. Take my channel, Mirhan. Take it. Take me too. Marry me. God damn it. <laughs> fucking, I need that American citizenship. <laughs> All right. Okay. Last words. Last words. When I say last words, um...